This is Presentiment of Death, a slow motion archery game where you must kill all the robotic foes in your way through a variety of scenarios as you make your way through an industrial tower. Time moves incredibly slow until you draw on your bow, so you need to unleash your arrows as fast as possible while avoiding attacks from all directions. This released March 1st, 2023 for the PC VR and Quest 2 headset for $15 US, and for this review, we checked out both versions of the game. Is this the next super hot, a cheap knockoff, or something in between? Let's find out. Before we get to it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment letting us know how you feel about the game, and if you can't get enough VR talk, join us live every Thursday at 9pm on this channel for the Virtual Boys podcast. Now, on with the review. Presentiment of Death fully embraces its major inspiration in Superhot, one of VR's most beloved titles by utilizing slow motion. Unlike Superhot, which had time only moving when you do, Presentiment takes a different approach by having time move at an incredibly slow speed unless you draw back your bowstring while an arrow is knocked, at which time moves at a normal pace. While the game advertises itself as a story-driven adventure, I'd argue that it's much more of a scenario than a narrative, as what I can piece together, you are invading a skyscraper in an effort to shut down the robots that are in your way. There's no text to read or cutscenes to watch, just scene after scene where you either survive or die. The system at play is fairly simple, as each of the 14 stages is broken up into 3 or 4 smaller scenarios, with each opening up with your bow floating in front of you. Once you grab your bow, the stage begins. Enemies appear, and you must dispatch them with your bow by placing your offhand near the knock position, pressing trigger to spawn an arrow, and pull back to unleash it. As soon as you pull on the bowstring, time speeds up, so depending upon the situation, sometimes it's best to take in your surroundings before acting, while others will require immediate reaction. It's a decent little system and a nice spin on the super hot formula, as not only will you be taking out foes near and far, but have to avoid their incoming melee attacks as well as incoming arrows, axes, spears, and more. When things are moving slow, you can grab at some of those projectiles and throw them back at the bad guys, and as they aren't your bow, there is no time penalty for returning their lost goods. Dodging is also easy enough, as all you need to do is physically move out of the way, so for those that need it, ensuring you have a decent sized play area is probably a good idea, though in truth, if your archery skills are up to task, you can stay relatively stationary. I will note that when weapons flew directly over my head, the collision detection seemed to be a little unfair, and I often died thinking I had avoided them when the game decided I hadn't, forcing me to duck a little further than I felt like I needed to. But outside of that, the combat in here is near flawless. For those looking for any sort of depth outside of what I just mentioned, you'll have to look elsewhere as this really is a bare bones slow motion action experience, which doesn't allow for a ton of creative freedom, and I found on replaying stages, I typically needed to kill robots in the same order lest I be killed, meaning the game comes off as a little more scripted than I would have liked. Once I figured out the pattern in a stage, it really came down to my accuracy and dodging skills, and soon enough, I was cruising through stages and while well, one or two held me up for a bit, forcing me to replay a few scenarios before I got to the stage that stumped me, and if I died again, it never took more than a minute or two to get back to where I perished and try again. Even though I did die more than a few times during my run, I still managed to get through all 40 plus scenarios in just under an hour, and outside of the practice mode I couldn't play yet as it hasn't been added to the game, there really isn't anything else here to sink any time in. Visually, I found Presentiment to be striking as you travel through Open Mind Corporation's various office spaces, starting off in reception and making your way up and down through cafeterias, archives, scenic areas with fountains to giant halls with multiple levels, and it was quite fun to see what the game was going to throw at me next. The main robots you face are humanoid in your feature list, save for their glowing eyes and some dark grey marks on their light grey body, and if they aren't attacking you from a distance, they may run, slide, or jump in your direction to try and land a hit. Each stage is static, and that includes the lighting effects as far as I can tell, but the stationary nature of the game does allow for some nice levels of detail using the minimalist art style, and overall, regardless of playing on PC or Quest, I found the game to be quite striking. A couple more enemy types will show up as the game progresses, including a large boss type foe and some flying drones, though for the most part, it's just you facing the androids as they come at you from all sides, which is also something I appreciated, as I was forced to take in my surroundings at the beginning of each stage to ensure I wasn't going to get ambushed. A very slick choice was the use of a classical soundtrack for the entirety of the game, including scores from Beethoven, Bach, Liszt, and Schubert. Every stage has its own specific song, and using these piano scores to accompany the actions I dodged and ducked weapons flying all around me while unleashing arrow after arrow was a very cool juxtaposition and one where I have to give full style points to, as I enjoyed this combination throughout my time in the game. That soundtrack can be overpowering at times, with the 3D audio being here, but somewhat underutilized as the enemies are silent, thanks to slow motion, safe when their weapons flew past my head, which was always a cool moment as I heard them whistle by. I really enjoy Presentment of Death as it does fill a void left by the super hot team never making me follow up to the first VR title. It is criminally short and currently doesn't offer much for replay value, but if you are jonesing to feel like a badass while taking out robots in slow motion, this does that. And I had fun from start to finish. 
given just how short this is. I do think this is overpriced at launch and should be a few dollars cheaper, but I have played worse for more and what's here is refined, just all too brief. I'm going to give Presentiment of Death a 6.5 out of 10. It's like super hot and light, but with a bow. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please do all the things to help us out. And that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching.